Hello, hello, queens. It's your girl, Kanisha, with Currency Queen Fudges. I am back with another video. We are going to be setting up my budget for August 2023. If that is something you're interested in, stay tuned. All right, guys, it's been a minute since I set up my budget with you guys, and I am so ready and needing to get back into the groove of um, budgeting and getting my budgeting videos out. Now, I have been doing videos. It's about um, planner spreads. If you have not seen those videos, I will leave the link up here, and uh, you guys can go back and watch that video. So we are going to be setting up for the month of August. I will be setting up the monthly and we will put in all the bills that we have to pay for this month. Now, a lot of things have changed since I purchased my home. So we will have a totally different budget from what we was doing at first. So this is for August. Isn't she pretty? And of course she had to be purple because that is my favorite color. So we will be working with the Happy Planner, the Bright Retro for this month. And then um, I think I'm going to do my date and holidays out of the Happy Planner as well. And this is dates and holidays from Happy Planner. And I will have everything linked in the description below and you guys can go purchase whatever you want um but everything that i'm using in this video today will definitely be linked so i will be using my g2 pilot it is a 0.07 i'm going to set that to the side i'm going to put the numbers in my boxes here since it is undated i'm going to put those in here and of course i'm going to fast forward and, and i'll be right back All right, so these numbers are extra, extra big. I like it. I like it like that. Um, I don't think I'll be continuing to use these big numbers in this book because I think this was really designated for the Happy Planner, for my undated Happy Planner. So I think I'll use these numbers. And I think I just seen, I said letters. I'm not sure. Did I say letters or not? <laughs> if I did. Um, but numbers are um they're big i like them and i just wanted to do it just for this month just to be different i wanted to go with the colorful ones but i'm not sure if i'm going to be decorating any of this but you know i keep this to a minimum so um because it is my budget planner so let's get these but these um stickers put in but first do i want to fill in my monthly budget planner here first no, I'm not. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to put in all of my bills first. And then we'll go back in and do that other side. That way I'll know what to write in so I can do it in order. Okay, so I'm going to first start off with my paydays because I know exactly when those days are for August so let's use these paydays here so I get paid oh that's pretty big too I get paid on the the 11th up here and then I also get paid on the 25th so 
And then for my YouTube chick, I'm going to use one of these. transparent sticker okay there it is so for my YouTube check I'm going to put let me grab a box and that way I don't know what I'm putting it down for I have a black one. Put the dollar sign here, then I'm gonna write in YouTube. So I get paid for YouTube, and then for Amazon, I want to I get paid for on the 20th for Amazon. This would be Amazon Pay here. And y'all know I have to get this straight. Like. So that is Amazon Pay, and then for Etsy, they pay me weekly, but I'm not going to put that on here. I don't think I am. Um, and then for my websites, I get paid on Thursdays for those. So I'm not going to put it there because I may not have an order one week, and then the next few weeks I may have the order. So I'm just going to not put those in so we are going to get started let's start with my mortgage and that sounds so great to say my mortgage let's see what i want to do here and uh, let me also say this as well you do not have to have a sticker book to set your budget planner up this is an undated planner. You can always write your numbers in and you can always write your bills in and you can use a highlighter for um, maybe just say you have a yellow highlighter for your bills. You have a yellow highlighter for when you, I mean a green highlighter for when you, for when you get paid. A pink highlighter for your variable expenses and, um, and so forth and so on. You can just set your budget up just like that and then keep up with everything just with a highlighter so you don't necessarily have to have your stickers i just i'm just using stickers because i have them on hand i am addicted to stickers and planners so yeah that's why i am using 
these stickers in these planners, these stickers in my planner. So let me see if they have some of these cute things here. It says repairs, emergency medical, um, subscriptions, entertainment. What does that say? Weekend trips. I couldn't see it on yellow. I don't know if y'all can see that. The yellow with the white. I think that should be like, if it's yellow, it should have black lighting or something. Because people like me got to squinch them eyes. Because um, these eyes getting old, honey. Savings transfer. No spin challenge. And I think I'm going to do my no spin challenge. Um, Maybe the last week of August. Because this week is my birthday week. This is when school starts back, and we are in this week here, and I'm thinking that I'll be buying probably some school supplies. I can, I think I'll be having to buy school supplies here because I did give away um, 10 backpacks. I did do a, a backpack giveaway for single moms for 10 backpacks, so, um, I probably can squeeze my no spin here or here. I'm not sure which week, but I may put it here since I have a box here. Well, I can write the dates here. I'm not sure, but that's just me rambling and thinking ahead. Let's see if I have some of those boxes that I need. And I so love these colors and I only purchased this because I like the colors and I thought they went very well with my planner. I thought they matched. So that's why, that's the only reason why I purchased this one. Cause y'all know I have tons and tons of budget um, sticker books, not tons, but yeah, I have over five, I know. Subscriptions, entertainments, medical, shopping trips, eating out, coffee run, so no, I'm not I'm not gonna use any of those. But what I'm going to do, I wanna use some boxes. But I'm just gonna do it like this because I can write the amount on this sheet. But I I just wanted to write write it here so I don't know how much I have to pay without having to look back there. I might just use some of these boxes anyway. Let me see what it is. Not those. Okay. Some of these right here. And I guess I can go with the with these. Yeah, I'm just gonna start with these. So for the first, I have my mortgage, and I paid my first mortgage. It was so exciting, y'all. It was so exciting. I'm not sure why, but it really was. And then the next thing that I have to pay is on the 10th. And no, I have a gas bill due here. And then for the 11th, I have my Netflix bill. And that is the only subscription I'm paying now. I got rid of everything else. My Philo and all that. I got rid of all that. Um, when I was doing the process of my home buying. So anything unnecessary that I didn't need. I just got rid of it. I kept Netflix because my daughter watches Netflix all the time. So I kept that in there. And then I have... 
don't think I paint anything this week. Then I have my car note here on the 21st. Oh, it's crooked. Okay, and then on the 20, no, 24th, I used to pay my son's cell phone bill, but he's 18, he's graduated, and he took on his own cell phone bill, so I have to pay my cell phone on the 26th for me and my daughter, and also my insurance comes out. And I was able to get some cheaper insurance. And that is so exciting. I went from um, my insurance company that I've been with for, I've, I think it's been over 15 years. I've been with them and they just kept going up and going up. It reached $350 and I was like, okay, you know what, that's it. So when I uh, purchased my house, I got a phone call from my insurance company with my home insurance. And we was discussing some things and, you know, she brought up that I can bundle my home, my house and my, um, my home house, my home and my vehicle and my life insurance. And what else I had? I had something else on there. I had home, life insurance, rent, um, car insurance and it's something else I had on my insurance but she let me bundle it and guys when I tell y'all they dropped it a hundred dollars a whole hundred dollars so I was excited because I can take that extra hundred dollars and put it towards my mortgage because my mortgage um did go up a little bit because the my rent that I had was the same thing that I had when I was um when I first moved into my home and it never changed, even with the inflations. My landlord never increased my rent when everybody else was starting to pay thirteen hundred and fourteen hundred dollars. Mine still stayed the same, y'all. So that was a whole blessing. But now that I'm the house is mine, now I do have to pay a little bit more, which would be kind of cheaper if they had went up on my rent. So it was still, you know, kind of even out, but. They were so gracious and didn't go up on my rent. So now I am working to make that up. I had a couple of people tell me that my mortgage shouldn't have been more than what I was paying for rent, but they still not understanding that my rent never went up for, you know, what it should have been for 2022 or 2023. Because everybody in my neighborhood pays rent from like $14.50 and up. And I know someone that pays up to... I think it was 1950 in my neighborhood. So if she would have jacked the rent up to 1950, my mortgage deal would be cheaper then. But they never mess with it because she knew I was a single mother. And they're just some good people, you know. I was blessed to get landlords that was really good. So I'm gonna take that hundred dollars that from my insurance and I'm going to roll that over into my mortgage payment. Um, and uh, what else do I have to pay? I think, I want to say that's it. I have, um, because the credit cards was paid off. I got my lights, my lights and water, internet, Netflix, my car note. Oh, my car insurance is due on the 26th as well. So I have a phone bill and car insurance on the 26th. 27th is nothing. 28th, I don't have anything. And 
And the 29th, I don't have anything. The 30th, nothing. 31st is nothing. So, uh, oh my goodness. Yeah, I think that is it. Let me grab um, something for to put my month up here. And since we have gold, I'm going to find a gold month. Oh, I think I supposed to be using just black. Let's do this. Use this black. And this might be too big to go at the top. I'm just going to see it right here. Because I usually do my washi tape up here. But I can probably put my washi tape over here. Okay, we're just going to put it office right there. white bill y'all i just feel like i'm still missing something like it's so let me go back to january to see what all i had did i do my calendar i didn't make march so i had credit cards house okay credit card credit card light this was netflix this is my car my Insurance Okay. Twenty five. All right. So I'm going to put because I think my gas bill is originally due here, but I have to make a payment on the second because we had a lawsuit. I don't know remember if you guys remember um I don't know if you guys remember me telling you all how my gas bill just kept going up and up and up. So they had like a lawsuit took out on the gas company. And so they suspended all payment in me. Like, um, I don't, I would call myself a dummy. I was not paying it because I don't know why <laughs> I wasn't paying my gas bill just because I guess we, we didn't have to pay it. So now that bill has accumulated and now I have to make a payment. It's like, do like it just start, everything started back. Because they went on and lowered the gas prices that they was charging. So everybody's um, bill should be back to normal as it was for the previous company that we were using. So hopefully it is. But I have to make a payment on the second when when things start back, um, back in effect to making payments and everything. So they didn't charge any late payments or anything. They just said, hey. If you don't pay your bill, you're not going to be charged any late payments. But we, I think everybody was trying to wait to see as far as the lawsuit, well, what it was going to do, if they was going to not have to, um, if we was not going to be liable for paying all those high bills. But yeah, the bill did lower down. So we have to just catch back up and, and pay that bill off. So it's on the 2nd, but I want to say it's due on the 28th. On the 28th. So I'm just going to go ahead and put Put it down there because i don't know how much i'm going to have to pay on the 28th but i'm just going to put something there so let's grab a black one well i don't have a blue one on here let's grab a blue and i'll put it on the 28th because i think this one is due All right, so I'm gonna go back and put the stickers on there so I don't know what I'm doing. And when I tell y'all, I've been having a, a hard time pulling these stickers off these sticker pages because I guess my nails are so thick now. I'm not, I'm not sure why, but 
I mean, I'm not sure why I can't pull nothing up off these pack, off these sticker pages, but I'm just gonna say it's my nails and leave it at that. So that's my mortgage, and this is a gas bill. No, I'm probably out of frame there. I'll put the gas. Oh, that's the same color. And then for my lights. So this is my lights, water, and internet here. And this is for subscriptions. I don't know if I have a thing for that. Do I have TV? Here go a TV. Oh, I've got a TV in these colors. Because I'm I don't I love these. I love the colors on, on these. So I'm just gonna put the TV here just for subscriptions because I don't have cable. I don't know anyone that does around here, but yeah, cable is so expensive now. It's cheaper to have like two or three subscriptions. That's payday. Then this is my car. Car notes. Do I have a car over here? I do. So I'm going to put this over here for my car insurance. Car insurance here. And then I'm going to use this car that's in the that's going forward. I'm going to use that for my car note. It's just a front facing car. If you guys can see that, let me, I might need to zoom in. Hold on, let me see. All right, so that's a little bit better. It's not like zoomed all the way in, but it's a little bit better. So where were we? Okay, the 26, that's my cell phone and I have a gold phone here. And I don't know if y'all know if I mentioned it in another video, but I did pay, end up paying my cell phone off. So I'm just working on getting my daughter's cell phone paid off. I need to start back doing my debt snowball so I can get that paid on off and get some of this other stuff paid off. And then this one is going to go back to my, my gas bill. Then let's see. I could have used all those big ones right there. And that it is a okay. So I'm gonna do my grocery shopping on the 13th. I always do my grocery shopping after I get paid. So I know and I normally go on a Sunday. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that there. Let me see. Okay, so this is a grocery shopping trip, and I can keep up with how much I'm spending on groceries. I'm going to put it here on the 13th, and then I'm also going to do one for... And if I eat out one day, I'm just gonna come back and put it in there. And I think I wanna start doing a, um, at the end of the month, just going through to show how much I spent and what I spent. I'm just showing you another overview of this layout to just keep up with it. Cause I have to get myself back on track. And once you stop budgeting, y'all, I don't know if this, this goes for anybody else, but when I stop doing my cash stuff in my envelopes, while I was doing, I was in my underwriting process for my home. It is so hard for me to get back in the groove of budgeting. I don't, and I don't know why. I'm not sure why. I don't know if it's because, I don't know. I just feel like, I don't know. Swiping that card, I guess that's what it is. And then, I've just been tired and 
I want to do some new things to my home, upgrade. I want to paint. I've been like rearranging some things, getting rid of a lot of things and, you know, giving away a lot of stuff. And y'all, it's been like nonstop. I'm working on my backyard. It's been crazy. Like, so hopefully I can get everything back on track. Y'all just, you know, say a little prayer or two for me. Whenever you think about me that I get everything back on track. So, okay, so no credit cards right now. Hopefully we can keep it like that, but yeah, you know how they go. So, let's see. I wanna put a quote up here. Don't put something down in this area. Sometimes you win, sometimes you learn, it's cute. Let me see, I just wanna go through and see it. I got all of these, this decoration here. And I could have put something there. I could white it out, but I'm not gonna do all that decorating. But I just wanna put some kind of sticker there. Or do I just wanna leave it plain? This is crazy because why when I saw this, I thought about a scratch off. That's this crazy. <laughs> that is so crazy. So Okay. Oh, that's some auto payments. And I have almost everything on auto pay. Everything, all of my bills are on auto pay, so. Mm. There's no spin challenge. I know, I knew, I knew, I knew that I'm going to put it here. And then I'll just write the day in up there. And y'all, I kind of want to go get a part, another part-time job. Uh, I'm not gonna say another one because I don't have a part-time job. I just work my my nine to five, and then I have uh, my Etsy store, my online stores, my course hub, and all that. Uh, and I'm going to get back on there, but I kind of want to get like a part-time job just for like a month or so, maybe like six months to try to, because I need to build my savings back up. I I really do, and I don't want to like feel like I'm living from paycheck to paycheck and all that. But I think this is all I'm gonna do for that category. So let's get everything written in. So I'm just gonna do for the month of August. All right, so let's write August here. And I'm so loving this purple, I love it. I love it. So I have August. And then let's write in our bills. So I'm going to write my mortgage. <laughs> I know y'all probably sick of me, but I'm just so proud of myself. So mortgage is due on the 1st. And then on, I should have left that open so I can see what, what I have to pay. Oh, let's do, um, what's the gas company called now? Summit. Summit Utilities. On the second and then I have is it the tenth? Oh god my mind sometimes y'all let's see okay yeah so the tenth I have my Conway Court And I have Netflix. Oh, I left out um my Amazon payment on the 16th. Amazon, so yeah. And then, so I'm going to write that down right now. So I have Amazon Prime. 
You know what? That comes out of my no, I do pay it out of this out of my um, bills account. And I need to put that on my uh, business account. So Conway Corp is on the 10th. Netflix is on the 11th. Amazon Prime is on the 16th. Because I I use that mostly for business stuff. Like if I'm doing some orders, that's where I get all my stuff from Amazon. So I got the Ally. So I have my car note due on the 21st. And then I have my phone bill. On the 26th, um, car insurance. On the 26th. And then on the 28th, I'm gonna put Summit again. I just feel like I spelled utilities wrong. Okay, I'm just gonna put the 28th here. Okay, so, and then I'm going to write in my categories. So I do groceries, the grocery, gas, household, hope I don't forget. Spending, beauty, I could have left it as a U, but it's, I made that tail too long. Beauty. Medication. And then I put eating out at the end. And this will be this is for my daughter. Because I still meal prep. Uh, we're not gonna do any sinking funds or any extra savings this month because I am trying to get back in the groove of my bills, right? So let's do the total. So for my mortgage, my mortgage is $1,371. My summit bill is $207. My Conway Corp is $253. Netflix, I think Netflix is, is it $22? $27? I think it, it's $22, I think. I'm going to put $22. My Amazon Prime, I normally put $17 there. My car note is $598 is what I pay every month. My car note is $498. So I do pay that extra hundred and make it to $598. Now, sometimes I might do the actual, it'll probably be $498 for the actual payment that I do pay, but hey. Um, for the phone bill, I think my phone bills is down to 216. 216. Uh, my car insurance is 250. And then um I'm not sure how much I have to pay here because I haven't got the bill yet for August. Um but yeah, so this 250 is just for my vehicle. My I have two vehicles on this one and I have my life insurance and something else on there I can't remember but for my mortgage is um 
for my mortgage, my property taxes, and my home insurance. So that's what that 1371 covers. All of that is uh, rolled over in there. So I don't have to worry about paying any property taxes because they are paid every month. So let's go to our cash envelopes and see how much I need to set aside for groceries. So for groceries, I'm basically going to do 275 for the month. Cause y'all know I don't spend that much money on groceries. For gas, I am going to do, let's do 200 because gas has definitely went back up. I'm just gonna do 200. Household, I normally do around 50-ish for spending. I am going to cut myself back to about $40 this month. For beauty, I'm going to do 100 because I have to get my nails done. For my medication, I do probably $30 a month for medication. And eating out, I will give her at least 65 so let me grab my calculator, then we can add this up and see how much all of this is. Okay, so let's see how much our bills will come out to be. So my bills are $2,999. And then for my cash envelopes, 75 is 250, 40, 130, 65. So that is $760. Okay, so let's add that up. 29.34 plus 7.60. So that is a total of 36.94. And I think I'm just gonna write that on a sticky note. Because, so I have $36.94 that I need for my bare basic things to survive a month. I'm not going to write my um, income source in as of right now. I did want to do this video so you guys will see that I will be making some changes and the savings challenges will kind of probably be not as many as I used to and not I'm not getting them done as fast as I was for right now because I'm focusing on, you know, the new bills I have to pay and, you know, just things that that's increased in my household. So, um, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did with you all. I'm going to fill all of this in uh, while I have you guys still on here. So that is basically how you set up your budget for the month and get everything started. And then for next week, I'll do another video and do a cash stuffing for that week and i'm going to try to be more intentional with my budget and cash stuffing because i want to do at least one cash stuffing a week that way i can stuff just for that week even if it has to be smaller amounts or you know whatever to get through each week so that is my goal for the rest of the year is to at least publish one video for cash stuffing a week uh, and then i'll just do other videos as well so y'all know how that works so i got 253 here my nipples let me get some more nipples 22 um i have one bill 219 i didn't write something here and then I'll record over here. And then uh, I want to write mortgage here. So that is $1,371. And then this is Amazon Pay. I don't know how much I'm going to pay Amazon I don't even know how much I'm going to pay So I'll put YouTube Pay. Let me see if I can work this out on my computer. And then a card note. 
I'll check the door. Oh, yeah, this side, maybe. I probably start with 98 and then if I think I just can't work. And then I'm going to write something right here. And I'm going to leave that blank because I do have to go back and look at that. So this is my bills for the month. And then my no spend date, I'll go back and put that in. Okay, so I went ahead and zoomed all the way back out so you guys can see my book here. So this is everything that I have to pay for right now. I did cut out a lot of bills from when I first started budgeting. Um, as far as like the credit card bills, all the subscriptions, the collections. I was able to get rid of my son's um, cell phone bill. And um, what else I was able to get rid of? I paid off a lot of stuff before I did my, um, before I bought my house. Yeah, I had storages that I was paying on. I got rid of those, cleaned those out. So it's like I've been, I've been doing a lot of work here. So I am going to work on getting my goals for the month put in because I have to have that done. And then the next video you guys will see as far as me budgeting is doing, getting prepared for my cash stuffing. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. I can't thank you enough. Um, we are still growing over here and I welcome each and every one of you guys to the family. I really appreciate each and every one of you that has stuck with me through my journey and, um, if you have not already hit that like and subscribe button hit that notification bell so you are notified every time i upload content as well don't forget to leave me a comment hit that share button do whatever you need to do just to show a little support and if you want to um send me a little thanks there is a button up there with a dollar sign inside of a heart you can send me a couple of dollars and maybe i can buy some more sticker books or you know just a little something i don't drink coffees but guys you know until my next video i want you to hustle hard budget hard and pray harder be blessed queenies bye